what is up youtube it's your boy gujetsu back with another youtube video it's been a while since i made one of these kind of videos where i just yap about stuff I'm gonna be talking about what is going on with dc games lately and where is the direction that we're going in with the release of the new batman arkham shadow game releasing in about let me see I think it comes out around October 15th or something. But yup, man, what a beautiful day today. We got P Diddy himself on trial. What more can I say? The year isn't even over yet, crazy. But anyway, we finna go in, no Diddy. So what is going on with DC games lately? Honestly, I don't fucking know. But let me talk about a little bit about Suicide Squad. So recently, yeah, I, season three came out with I don't even know who that character is. Honestly, I haven't kept up with it. Well, all I know was season two flopped, obviously. I mean, no one asked for a recreation of Mr. Freeze. I mean, the gameplay looked cool, but that's about it. All I'm going to say is, yeah, I don't know what's going on with this game. I thought this game was straight up dead already, but it looks like Rocksteady is going forward with the game somehow. The only thing I heard about was they were going to go up all the way to at least season five, where I think they might release all the characters leading up to Deathstroke. And then they're going to wrap up the story for the game. But we did have... I'm pretty sure we had uh, some Justice League members come back with the Flash and all that. I don't know about this season specifically because I don't really care for it. But yeah, I'm surprised this game is still going. Pretty sure they're losing out on a lot of money for keeping this game up because there's only like maybe five players playing this. But moving on. So recently they had a Wonder Woman, what you call it, synopsis. Yeah, they had some screenshots and a synopsis for the Wonder Woman game from Monolith. The guys that worked on the Shadow of War games. And we don't even know when this game is coming out. Like, where the hell is the release date for this game? Like, what, what is happening right now? But yeah, that's in the works and who in the hell knows when this game is coming out. But we really do need like another single player quality game from DC because damn, it's been down here. It's pretty much been a decade since we had a DC game. Well, actually, I lied. I forgot there was Gotham Knights that came out in 2022. But y'all know what I mean, like some quality i mean i enjoy that game but let's be honest like we need like a quality dc game like the arkham games and it's just been so damn long since we had one and yeah i'm just i don't know like i just hope this game comes out soon and i hope they don't rush it though but i have faith in the developers behind the wonder women game because the shadow of war games were pretty damn nice they played like arkham games the combat was cool and all that and yeah i don't think there's gonna be any microtransactions for this game if there is and it's kind of stupid because back at the time there was some flack for the shadow of war games having microtransactions at the time but i believe the developers or wb themselves pulled the plug on the microtransactions because yeah everybody was just flaming the hell out of it which is understandable like why would you even put microtransactions in a single player game but yeah that shouldn't be an issue if they do make a return then that's just stupid as fuck Anyway, moving on to Batman Arkham Shadow, the VR game coming out in just under two weeks. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to check the release there right now, actually. Wait, apparently this game is coming out on October 22nd. Okay, so I did make a video regarding Batman Arkham Shadow. My reaction to it was I was in the mindset of like, why the hell would they release an arkham game but in vr just felt like a slap to the face because us arkham fans have been waiting for another you know, like a mainline console 
Batman game for pretty much a decade now. And upon reading more into behind what made this game, the developers camouflage went to WB, pretty much asking them if they can make a VR game for a Batman Arkham game. But we all thought they just made the decision to just make this Arkham game specifically a VR game, but that is not the case. It was flat out gonna be a VR game from the get-go, which is cool, I guess, you know, but I can't blame Arkham fans for reacting the way they did with the game. But you know what, right now, my viewpoint of the game changed because the developers behind this game seem like they're really passionate about the project and they really respect this universe and all that and i really commend them for that it seems like they do really care about this game which is respectable and i'm gonna go ahead and say that i did end up buying a meta quest the meta quest s bundled with batman arkham shadow for 300 bucks i'm pretty sure which is cheaper than the regular meta quest and i think the only difference between the s and the regular meta quest is the resolution or whatever i guess better pixels or less pixelation on the regular meta quest and i guess the fov is a bit wider in the regular meta quest from what i read anyways but that's only about the only difference i found but then i read the meta quest s has better battery life that's what i read anyway but yeah i went ahead and pulled the plug you know i fucking i bought a meta quest s it's bundled with the game why not it's 300 bucks i was finna do it for the channel you know what i'm saying like hey it's been a long time since i've been waiting for a batman arkham game i just had to you know i didn't have to but i'm a sucker for batman arkham anything or batman in general so yeah we finna be doing content for this game crazy thing is i didn't even watch the goddamn trailer for the damn game apparently there was some gameplay uh trailers damn okay i don't know it's crazy how they got everything right they got the combat they got predator segments like what the but this is gonna be my first time experiencing a vr system and it's crazy that i'm gonna be experiencing it on one of my favorite franchises oh man i cannot wait actually I just need to figure out how to record this and post it on YouTube or even live stream it. I don't know. I was thinking about live streaming it as well, but I don't think it's one of those games I'm going to be able to live stream, unfortunately. But if I do find a way to somehow live stream it, I will end up doing so and just posting like whatever I experience live on my YouTube channel. There's already rumors about Rocksteady making another Batman Arkham game, but I'm not gonna buy into that, you know? Take that shit with a grain of salt. Like, nothing's 100%, you know? It could be possible, but I ain't believing it till I see it. And there's been word that other developers outside of WB might be able to make games for them, specifically DC stuff. That's just what I heard, but, you know, I'm not believing it till I see it again. But I'm just imagining what a Sucker Punch superhero, like a DC superhero would be like. Or like a Santa Monica freaking DC game or a Naughty Dog DC game. It's just kind of wild to think about that they could potentially outsource like their IP to other developers outside of WB. Crazy bro. Kind of like what Marvel is doing with their games. I believe they got EA devs making an Iron Man game and a Black Panther game, I believe. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna be next for WB in the upcoming years or upcoming months after this Batman Arkham Shadow VR game. But yeah, I think I pretty much talked about everything I wanted to talk about in this video. If anything does come up, I will make another video probably, I don't know. But expect some Batman Arkham Shadow VR content on the channel. I've been doing a lot of stuff that hasn't been on the channel before. But, you know, I haven't lost my roots. You know, I'm still a big a Batman dude. So, I'm going to post a lot more DC stuff coming. You know, I'm just waiting for DC to just amp up their production for DC games. Because right now, it's fucking dry as hell, bro. But yeah, we finna be on the Batman Arkham Shadow. And there's gonna be a lot of games that's gonna 
be on the channel that I want to make content for. The uploads have slowed down because I've been focusing more on live streaming on Twitch. And that's just because it works out for me right now because I don't really have the time to sit down and edit videos lately. Because, yep, life, I guess. You know, we're still gonna be active on the YouTube, of course. So if you wanna catch me live, uh, you can go check out the Twitch. It's gonna be twitch.tv slash gojetsu. It's gonna be in the description down below if you wanna check it out. Other than that, Thank you guys for watching and sticking with me. Peace.